Hi, I'm Liam, a designer and design advocate on the material design team at Google. In this video, we're going to learn how typography works in material design, a strategy for pairing fonts from Google's catalog of hundreds of open source typefaces, and how to create a custom type scale that expresses your product's identity. Typography in material design is based on a type scale. A type scale is a hierarchy of type styles that can be used for different situations throughout a layout. The material type scale is a combination of 13 reusable styles that each have an intended application and meaning, all the way from big headline styles to body text, captions, and buttons. Working out a good type scale for your app keeps typography consistent and meaningful to users, while providing enough stylistic options to create a compelling look and tone. This is done by choosing a constrained set of typefaces and type styles and applying them across your interface, which we'll do in just a minute. If your app doesn't already have a specific brand typeface to use, you can choose a typeface that shares some characteristics with other parts of your brand's identity, or the tone that you want to convey in the app. You can think about things like how the brand's voice would sound, what shapes are used in the logo, or whether your brand identity is serious or playful. More opinionated or stylized display typefaces are expressive and make a great choice for big headlines and other selected moments in an app. Now let's see how type is applied to material components. Type is one of the subsystems that allows you to theme material components, customizing them to create something unique. Each component's typography fits into a category. For example, the text on a button belongs to the button category, which is shared by the buttons in a dialog box and tab labels. So changing attributes like typeface, style, size, and spacing causes a ripple effect that customizes all the typography belonging to that category. And now that you know how it works, let's create and apply a custom type scale. For this example, we'll work in the Build a Material theme project on Glitch. We built this project at glitch.com slash at material to make it easy to customize components with simple code changes. We'll also open up Google Fonts to choose some high quality fonts that we can use in our project for free. First, we'll look for a text typeface that we can use for most of our components. And once we find a font, we can copy its import code from Google Fonts And then back on Glitch, we can paste that code into the mytheme.scss file and update our font family. If we look at our project now, all the type as well as the type scale on the side has updated. We can push this even further by choosing a display typeface that complements what we already have, adding some extra expression to the larger styles in our type scale. So back over on fonts, we'll choose an interesting display typeface. And once we put in that import code, we'll also need to specify which parts of the type scale should adopt this new typeface. I'll paste in some code that tells our theme to apply this typeface just to the headline styles. And then back in our project view, you can see how the updates have cascaded throughout the theme. If you want to create custom typography that exposes all the typographic attributes and values that go into the material type scale, you can also check out our new type scale on material.io. Plugging in any typeface will allow you to get values that you can then apply in code or in your design tool of choice, including our design kits on Figma. To learn more about typography, check out our typography guidance at material.io and subscribe to our channel for more design tutorials and inspiration.